Hi friends, this is Lindsay here. I'm so happy to see you today. I um, am not where I normally am when I do our songs and activities. I'm downstairs at my backyard door. You can see it's very cold and wet and snowy outside, which is pretty funny. Um, so I was planning on doing an outdoor activity on Wednesdays for you guys to play with, and obviously kind of gloomy out there, but um, this activity was, I had planned already, and it's just um, to practice our writing, and it does kind of use some outdoor elements, but mostly it's an indoor activity that I hope you guys have some fun with. So what we're doing today is we're going to be practicing our writing skills, and um, normally at the school, uh, at Tabletop once a week, the kiddos will get a chance to practice their writing on those whiteboards that we give them and they get to trace the letters of the letters of their name or they can write the letters of their name if they were at that point. Um, they could they trace letters or they would um, draw pictures and it was a really fun little activity to really encourage writing. But it was added a little fun twist because you get to use whiteboard markers, right? And it's a little bit different. So um, I thought how could I bring this activity to you guys so you guys can do it at home. Um, and I figured it out, I think. So what we're at, all you need is really a window or even like a sliding glass door works great. So you have access to the other side of it pretty easily. Um, and what all, all of that you need really is some whiteboard markers. Hi, baby girl. Out, out, out. Yes, thanks, babe. <laughs> my dogs want to be part of my videos too. Um, all you need are whiteboard markers. Um, they're pretty easy to find in grocery stores, fairly cheap. You can get some cool colors. I mean, got a few like purples and pinks and blues. Um, and basically that's all you need. I mean, you can also use paper and tape like I did. So all that I did here is I wrote my name on um, a piece of paper and then I taped it on the opposite side of the glass. I recommend using pa painter's tape for this because it comes off a lot easier. It doesn't leave any residue on your glass or anything. And um, now they're on the opposite side and the inside part of the door. I can write on this through the glass and it's like you can trace. So I thought this would be a great time for you guys to practice tracing if your kiddos are not really at the level where they could um, copy all the, all the letters of their name. And tracing is even good if your kiddos are kind of at that level because it really reinforces the, um, the way they make the shapes of the letters and making sure we do it um, correctly. So. Uh, once you've taped your child's name on the opposite side of the glass, it's really easy for them just to go in with their markers and trace those letters. And it's kind of fun because, you know, you don't get to write on the windows usually, so it adds a little extra fun to the activity. Once you've traced the letters of their, the letters of their name, you can go on and um, you can encourage them to kind of start copying the letters in, like, off, off of the name tag. So, I mean it up here. Um, you can also talk about how they're holding the marker. And these are really thick, so they're not easy to hold. Um, so if they're holding it like this, that's completely fine. Um, you try to start pushing them to kind of start pinching it like that, um, encouraging a pinch their grasp for holding the writing tools. But if they're not at that point yet, don't worry about it. Just um, kind of be patient and let them try to work with their fingers a little bit, and that'll help. Um, and then you can you can do all kinds of things with this activity. Remember, I can't right now. Go out. I'll be right there. Thank you. Um, you can put all, if they, your kiddo has totally mastered the, the writing their name, you can do their last name if you want to. Some of our kiddos are working on that. Or you can um, write all the letters of the alphabet nice and big so that they can really get in there and copy the lines. And you can do the same thing, but with all the letters of the alphabet, you can do uppercase, you can do lowercase, you can do numbers. Numbers are a great thing for the people, for kiddos to start tracing. We haven't really worked on that too, too much. And, and you can even do shapes if you want to and really encourage writing, um, drawing shapes. So um, yeah, I hope you guys can do this activity. It's kind of simple and fun. Um, and you can let your kiddos, as long as they're willing to stay engaged and sit and write and draw. I mean, you can draw pictures if you want to. You can um, write little messages. You can let older brothers and sisters, even little brothers and sisters get in on this and make beautiful sliding glass door pictures at home, you know, uh, anything to keep them busy. So I hope you guys can use this activity at home. Once you're finished with your drawing and your writing, all you just do is take some Windex. They need more of, obviously. And,
you can, it comes right off and it's ready. Yeah, one more drawing, that's like it. So um, I hope you guys enjoy this activity. Activity. This is all I got for you today because um, it's Wednesday, but tomorrow I'll be back with another um, some song and stories and activities. So um, I hope to see you tomorrow. Thanks for joining me today. Give me some knuckles and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.